Hello, my name's Erwin Rothenberg, and today we will be discussing the importance of handling urine drug screen reports with care. The personal impact of test results from urine drug screens readily performed in physician office laboratories and other point-of-care sites cannot be overstated. Because of the personal, occupational, and legal implications that accompany drug testing, family physicians who perform urine drug screens must be confident in their ability to interpret screening results and respond appropriately to that interpretation. The summary of the many reasons that urine drug screens may be ordered include pre-employment requirements, suspicion of drug abuse, random testing required by employers, military service, sports participation, legal and or criminal proceedings such as post-accident, parole, date rape investigations, also drug therapy compliance monitoring, drug abuse rehab monitoring, and finally post-mortem investigation. Urine is the preferred specimen for drug testing primarily because it is non-invasive. The immunoassay procedure, such as ELISA or RIA, is performed first as a screening method. If the immunoassay is negative, then no further action is required and the results are reported as negative. If the sample's positive, the more specific gas chromatography or mass spectroscopy is used as a confirmatory test to identify individual drug substances or metabolites and to quantify the amount of the substance found. Ordering and interpreting urine drug screens requires an understanding of the test procedure, the detection times for specific drugs, and the common reasons for false positive and false negative test results. Now, positive, possible reasons for false negative results include dilute urine specimens, possibly due to excess fluid intake or the use of a diuretic, prolonged time since the last drug use, very recent ingestion, insufficient quantity ingested, metabolic factors, also tampering with the specimen. Now, false positive results may be due to the fact that many prescription and non-prescription substances cross-react with immunoassays and cause false positives. Most have only been documented in case reports. The frequency of false positives varies depending on the specificity of the immunoassay used and the substance under detection. In short, the importance and impact of urine drug screen results on the life of the individual tested requires a heightened awareness of both the strengths and limitations of the methodologies used. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for our newest content. We've included relevant educational products to what we've discussed in the video, so click on the description box for the links or click on the little icon on the top right to view the products. Thank you very much.